Hello, folks. I've got a rare opportunity. I'm really cherishing this moment. This is a rare time that uh, I'm really proud of the horror genre and our next guest. <coughs> and in an era of fast food horror, like we suffered through in the United States with stuff like Bud the Chud and <laughs> Friday the 13th Part 8, it's nice to see a film like this and a body of work that uh, is like a banquet. And any Argento film I've ever seen is like a feast for the eyes and for the senses. And it's really a shame for the past 20 years that a man with a body of work like this, I can't name another genre director. If you can, let me know and just shout his name out. Who has a body of work like this, a bird with the crystal plumage, cat and nine tails, four flies on green velvet, Suspiria, Inferno, Phenomena. Even his movies have the greatest titles. And you can see how far we are behind the times that last year we were celebrating the release of Suspiria here in the United States on video. It's only been out for 13 years, and they finally got it out. And now uh, we, have a, we have a chance to right a few wrongs with all the, with all the ignorance we've had towards this man's films for the last 20 years. And I think we ought to take the opportunity to give him an incredible round of applause. And if you, if you get up off of your seats and are on your feet, I'll join you. But all I can say is bravo. Bravo, Dario. question and answer session and then uh, outside where all the guests are in the pit down there in the convention center be signing autographs for a while so I mean this is a pretty uh, rare opportunity for everybody here so take advantage of it Dario I thank you because uh, for the applause <coughs> it's the first time I'm, I met the, the American people in Italy <laughs> excited <coughs> Some people won't answer me. I'm free. I'm, I'm uh, naked. <laughs> we just touch one key. The this entire key. place goes yeah. black. <laughs> this is going to look kind of, kind of semi-unprofessional, but I, got, I had written some down. I couldn't remember them all. Well, Dario Argento's here. You can wave yes. to the folks, Dario, and let them know you're, you're here and alive and ready to go. Um, first of all, uh, the people you've used in the music in the films, uh, Morricone, is that how you say his name? M-O-R-R-I-C-O-N? He scored heard. your first three films? What is this? That's true. That's my, those are my list of questions. It's no, I don't know it. Music? Yes. Morricone. 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 Andy Morricone. Fabulous. Yes. Fabulous. Super. Yeah, things. Super. Where did, you, where did you meet him? I met him because he was a friend of my father. And um, also we... Uh, the uh, close to the houses, mm -hmm. and we are friends of family. Since and you were, when since you were kids, I, yes. When I kids, no, exactly, but uh, many, many years. Mm -hmm. And when um, uh, when I make speech, or first speech, or my father called Morricone. Morricone, we, I met Morricone because are already big and famous, and and uh, he says okay. begins our know, collaboration, three pictures. Mm -hmm. My first three pictures, the, the trilogy of the animal. Right. As, uh, and then, which I changed because... Uh, you went to Goblin after that, yes, right? Yes, yes, Goblin. Uh, now, Goblin, no, Goblin... Before, bef no, before the Goblin, uh, Gaslini. He's right. a jazzman, famous in, in Europe. Giorgio Gaslini. Which picture was that? Um, uh, for television, for one oh. thing to television, and uh, for, for uh, five, five days, days of mail. Gaslini and also the Scala, the orchestra of Scala Milan. And after this, uh, I, start, I try to find other things, so new, special, mm -hmm. new names. And Goblin group, was, Goblin 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 was one that you, you put that group together, yes, that's your I, group. I, grew, I, I formed this group, yes, you don't exist before, because I see young people come from conservatory, mm -hmm. and two are student, student in London. And uh, I, I know these people because I know young musicians somewhere. Mm -hmm. 
I formed this group. I think it was good, but uh, it's good group. But uh, after three years, uh, disappeared. Now in Suspiria, the the music is uh, so intensely a part of it. Uh, you have tremendous periods of loud, incredible sound, and then complete and utter silence. Um, this was. Uh, when you were composing the music, were you thinking about the scene itself, knowing that the music was going to be there as you were doing it, or was it something that you did afterwards? No, after during uh, shooting, during uh, also during, during uh, writing, mm -hmm. because when I finished to write the screenplay, I'm, I make a week in uh, a vacation in um, in uh, Greece, mm -hmm. and I see in, uh, in the village a musician wonderful with the bouzouki. Similar to Bazooki. Bazooki, yeah, okay. similar to guitar. Is the, is the instrument for superior. Yes. All the superior is Bazooki. And uh, I, it was the first time I heard this instrument. And uh, I, I buy, okay, the records also one Bazooki. Right. And uh, I come in Rome with this Bazooki and I experiment mm -hmm. this instrument. This is before you've even shot anything. Before shooting. Right. Yes. And uh, also I, I. We were one month student, and I composed this, the main title. You mean the dum oh, dum 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 dum? That's you. You composed. And it's just because, as I watched the film, it just seemed to me that the music had to have been part of your thought as you were doing. It couldn't have been an afterthought because it's just so integrated into the whole. Yeah. And I also noticed a lot of, I don't know whether this is true because I know that you like the influences to be from yourself, but there was a lot of Kubrick in that film for me because you know how Stanley Kubrick always centers everything, especially like the scene when she's banging on the door to try and get in as the girl is getting murdered. Everything is just so perfectly centered. You know, it's like a, it's so, it's so symmetrical like that in the, in the wide screen shot. And this, this also is something you had pretty much set in your mind is the way that would look. Yeah. Hmm. And the, um, the other thing I wanted to mention to you is that the music you guys did for Dawn of the Dead has become, I don't know if you're aware of this, zombie music in just about every other zombie film is the same, that's a boom, 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 boom. I mean, <laughs> you look at any zombie film made by anybody, they use that all the time. Yes. It's tremendously important. <laughs> This is the way Did you think to yourself how a zombie would walk and just base the music on that? Just yeah, but no, but uh, when you see tom, tom, huh? this is zombie. <laughs> they don't make any albums or anything, Goblin, right? They, no. no. no it's no. like what the uh, Jaws music is to sharks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, you worked with Keith Emerson yes. on Inferno. Are you a rock and roll fan? Yes. And you use uh, a lot of but heavy. I, 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 um, in Inferno, uh, Keith Emerson, you make no music rock or really. It's a classic, mm -hmm. like classic, like Orf, mm -hmm. like uh, Carmina Burana. Do you know Carmina Burana? No. Orf is the, the best. Is a, is a, uh, um, uh, an opera, uh, but singing in Latin, uh, composed in, uh, in this century from Orf. Mm. is a German composer, wonderful, wonderful. Mm. And uh, he inspired uh, yes. me and, uh, yeah, him, and Keith. Keith for Carmina Burana, Orf. Mm. If you don't, you... I'll check it out. Uh, and, Keith, and, and Keith, you, you knew about Keith from Emerson, Lake and Palmer, is that how Yes, you? I remember when, the, during Emerson, Lake and Palmer, I'm fine. Much finished, more sure, it was yeah. finished, uh, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Right. It's Emerson, Lake and Palmer. <laughs> and it's Emerson, Lake and Powell, and uh, yeah. he's got a couple other things. Yeah. And you use a lot of heavy metal, especially in uh, in opera. You have this, this, this switch from the classical music to the heavy metal. Yeah, it's also for... Um, uh, with the demons, the, uh, with the okay, classic heavy metal or new age from uh, Brian Eno, yes. Now why do you why why such different? Because it's a it's a all kind yeah, no all kind of music is possible together inside. No, yeah, it's yeah. A Verdi, heavy metal, Brian Eno, and uh, uh, B. Wyman. What people are. Because the music, are uh, comfortable together. It seems like the heavy metal is always it with a lot of violence usually. No, also because heavy metal is this so, your soul, your blood, your nerve. This is heavy metal, I think, is when you are very hungry. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And so it, you you don't think to yourself, I'm going to use any one specific kind of music in any film. You just do it no, according I mean, to the emotion. Every picture uh, change. Cinematographer Vittorio Sotararo, yes. is that how you say his name? 
Um, he shot Bird with the clips from Crystal Plumins. Uh, how does he compare with other cinematographers uh, that uh, you've used? Yeah, I, I change every, every picture I change. Every you change your so cinematographer in every picture? Yet they all have a certain look. Even yeah, though exactly. Because this is mine. This from mine. But uh, I want to change because I, I'm exciting to have, a, to have another experience with another person, with new, maybe... Maybe we roast, but new. <laughs> Who do you always have with you? Are there certain people you always use in every picture that stay by you? Is there no many. No uh, many. many you always are changing. Always changing. Just yes. for the sake of change, so you can get something a little bit different. Yes, yeah, actors and any change. Speaking of Daria, she's huh? Daria lives. Yes, for she's, mm, but she appeared in all of your pictures, or just some no? pictures? Yes. So. I mean, mentioned a couple of act actors and actresses giving you an opinion on yeah. them. Uh, Mimsy Farmer and Four Flies. She's good. I'm uh, very really good. Remember her. You remember her? Yes, very good. Remember her. She was... Uh, I um, keep her because her are uh, very similar to my my wife at the time. Mm -hmm. It was similar, very similar. Same hair, same face. And for this, because her uh, Four Flies and Rabbit are... Story, familiar story, you know, the family, the middle family, um, couples, and also the horror of the couple, because people marry, they hate each other, they want to kill, this, this is the, the end of the marriage. Do you like using English actors like Carl yes, Malden and uh, James Franciscus? I love, I love, because it's easy for me for the fusion of the picture, is easy, because most of the people in the world Talk in English and mm -hmm. Do you do you direct in, in English? Or yes, you do direct in English. Have you spoken English? Yes, for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, how about uh, from from I I learn English from songs. From because songs? I, yeah, because in uh, in school I studied French and Spanish, mm -hmm. and because I in uh, I studied priest school and uh, we have uh, no English, only French and Spanish. I studied French and Spanish, but uh, in the same time I love. Music, especially Bob Dylan. And oh, I'm mean, a tremendous fan. I translate, uh, yes, Bob Dylan. Have you heard Ronnie the new Spons. album, Oh Mercy? Have you heard that one? Yeah. The latest album. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, really. it's, it's, it's probably the best thing he's done in like 10 years. Yeah. It's wonderful stuff. Last, uh, for this, I wrote English. You've used to use uh, Valley in Suspiria and uh, Inferno, uh, David Hemmings and Jennifer Connolly and John yes. Saxon. Who don't care? Yes. Udo Kerr, he's in a lot of strange movies. Yes. Um, uh, how did you, you, find, how'd you hook Warhol. up with Udo? Andy Warhol. He introduced yes. you? Andy Warhol? No, he no, came from Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol. Yeah, yeah. Frankenstein. Yes. Yeah. Frankenstein, yes. Mm -hmm. And also he's a, was a big friend of... Um, um, what's the name of the famous director in uh, German? In, uh, June, oh, wow. He's the died. one that did that. Uh, die. Jekyll, Dr. Jekyll movie? No, this is um, this, the German director. Uh, Fassbinder? No. Fassbinder. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. He was uh, very, very close to Fassbinder, very friend. Born of Fassbinder. Very Fassbinder. And uh, when I shoot Suspiria, uh, he, we have a night uh, invitation, me and Fassbinder and David Bowie. Mm -hmm. Because David Bowie lived for the most, I don't know now, but the most years in Munich. And uh, because I think he's Nazi, or, you know, or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know, something for uh, he, love, he loves German. And I remember this strange uh, dinner, because uh, fast being the eat only potatoes and caviar. And of course, caviar. And of course heroin. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, yes, only yeah, caviar and potatoes, because uh, potatoes for, for liver. Right. And caviar for energy. And, not, and that was yeah, it. Not more. Yeah, not, not a good guy. Yeah, sorry, a good guy. Do you like Fassbender's work? Oh, no, very much, very much. Especially the last picture, the last three pictures. And Didn't the last thing he did was a huge television movie, wasn't it? Like a, a four-hour, five-hour yes, television yes. One, one, we have one. Yes, very long. Uh, what about the girl? Um, I think you, you pronounce her name Nicolette Elmi. Yes. You used her as a little girl, and, yeah. then you, and then she was again in she Demons. She grew up in your movies. Yes. I guess she grew up in, is, she, is she a friend of yours, or just somebody that you... No, I, to I, I don't see again? any... Uh, I don't see... After Mary Demons, Bob I don't see... Sweet. Maybe she married, maybe she disappeared. <laughs> I don't know. And now, speaking of Demons in, in the, uh, in the uh, 
documentary on you, the uh, world of horror, you speak about how you believe that in order to do a special effect, you should just do it. Instead of making miniatures, you want to actually put a helicopter through a ceiling. Yes, really. Um, you must run into a lot of uh, a lot of problems with things like that. Yes. Can you tell me about one particular effect that you had to have that uh, was maybe uh, one of the worst, uh, most difficult ones for you to achieve? Yet in the end, yes, the helicopter was difficult. Inside the moon, the other was very difficult. I could never understand why did the helicopter go through the ceiling. How could they have gotten them? How yes. could they have turned it? Was it supposed maybe, to? Maybe some people arrived to help because uh, and uh, fall down. Thing? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Because yeah. because when the or maybe is uh, because we have a disorder in in the city mm -hmm. and the helicopter because we have see the big ceiling. Maybe is. There and the director, for me, yes. it worked almost more on the level of a dream. Like yeah, it just because happened. yeah, this is like in, something like, really like incredible. in your dream. Yeah. Just something will happen. Some yes. a wall will because fall. Yes, airplane in your room. This yeah. is dream. Like dream uh, sometimes I, yeah. I remember one, one obsession. Sometimes uh, many years ago, to stay in a room and to hear the airplane in the, in the sky in the night. And uh, I think. When the above, uh, I believe maybe he's inside the room. He hunter. He wow! Crashed yeah, into the room. Right. Yeah, with this big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I <laughs> so that that was the inspiration for that. Yeah. And um, when was the first time you met uh, Mario Baba? I know that you worked with Lombardo. Yeah. Uh, was that like for you? Was that meeting somebody that you had admired for a long time? A very yeah, a sure, thrilling sure. experience. Yes, yes, I met I met first time I don't remember when but I met many years ago because of, I was a friend of uh, Lamberto because Lamberto me and Lamberto we married uh, this uh, the uh, sisters two, no two uh, ga, two girls in the same school ah, same classes mm -hmm. in the same friend was friend and then we uh, we don't see for some years and then. We started to work together because there's a lot of a lot of the color schemes in Mario's films. It seems yeah. that you were very influenced by yeah. by his use of colors. Maybe yes, maybe unconsciously because, uh, but uh, maybe yes. unconsciously, maybe unconsciously. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with the films of Michael Powell? Michael Powell influenced by yes. his colors. Yes, yes, she red shoes, perfectly. Yeah. Red shoes and the uh, black narcissist, the black dark. And the mask, the most are for me, uh, there's no white. And the, really? Yeah, the cartoon? The color, yeah. Because they use the, co the color in the cartoon, in Disney cartoon. Yeah, it's yeah. wonderful. Especially in uh, Snow White. And seen in one of the big screens. For Suspiria, inspired by Snow White. Suspiria is inspired by Snow White. Yeah. You could see that, absolutely. I never even thought of that. Before. No. In what in what countries are your films most most successful? Would you say in Italy, France, Italy. France and Italy, and no, J Japan, Japan, yes. even more than France and Italy. More, yes. More. Have you visited Japan? Yes, three times. Three times. For, are you are you a premier. are you a deity in Japan? Do they uh, Ever? a deity in Japan? Do the Dario? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's nice people. It's not so. No, it's people are very very nice. It's, uh, Wonderful. I for premiere of uh, Phenomena, um, Tenebrae, mm -hmm. and uh, Three Pictures, and Opera. Do you purposely put references to the last film you made in the next film you make? Like, you know, in the end of Opera, you have him photographing the, the fly. Yes. Is that sort of like a little reference to Phenomena? Yes, reference to Phenomena. And uh, also in Phenomena, we have uh, some reference in you know, other. We have a. Uh, you always because, uh, I I is that just, is that I put just my, me and myself some picture of my is that you always put a picture of yourself sort of yes, and, and people and people uh, if people are very you know my picture in my work he understand he knows so this so is that's a little treat you put in there yes it's another, it's another yes another. just like you put the bird with the crystal plumage in Suspiria yes ah, that's great. What countries do you uh, do your films have the uh, most censorship problems? Do you find where they really edit them the most? Yes, in, um, in um, Sweden. Sweden. Yeah. Mm. Sweden and also wow, Sweden. Yeah. I think that's you Sweden. would think. Yeah. Sweden. The, the yeah. sex is fine. The violence sex, is uh, not. okay. Mm. Like Sweden. RP 
PG movies have trouble. Yeah, it's also some. Really? Yeah, I know yeah, like some movie. cartoon also are forbidden Band. in German. Band in Sweden. Sweden? Yes, many cartoons because it's too violent. Uh, I guess in the beginning it probably really upset you that they were cutting the films. I'm sure it still does, but you you, you seem to give off the attitude the other day that you know, what can I do? I mean, I, do you feel that as long as you, your films get to see be seen in certain places the way you intended it, that that'll make you happy enough, or is it something that you're trying to fight? I mean, something that maybe you feel you should do more work on in terms of getting your film out the way you intended it, or is it just too much of too much bullshit to have to deal with? No, no, not too much bullshit. I, 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 I try to find to. In such a yes. simple thing like the, the, just a simple thing like the end of opera, which was no big deal. Yes, no. I mean, it's, it's, uh, and it seems to me like know, it was uh, very important to you that one little. For me, scene. yeah. For me, yes. If, but maybe for the distributor, for a little, it's not it's important. It's okay. It's a business. It's, it's not important. It's, it's okay. Got this. <laughs> okay. But the, the other thing is that a lot of fans are fighting. To yes. restore these this, things. This is the only thing. I uh, they, they, call they, 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 distributors yeah. and say, please don't cut please, these Please, because, because <laughs> we go in the same, uh, yeah. same. If, also if, if you don't cut, okay, we, I go to the theater, no? Yeah. But say. sometimes even the cuts make more interest in the movie because everyone wants to see yeah. what was taken out. Because the distributor thinking, uh, thinking uh, maybe story. if we cut, uh, we have a more audience. It's silly. No, mm. it's not real. Mm. It's not real. Going back way in the beginning, Gary, with Once Upon a Time in the West, um, did you just submit a treatment to that film? Was that your only? Yes. Would you like to do more westerns? Is westerns no, only, genre? No, I like only work with the, the Sergio and the Bernardo. Mm -hmm. it was beautiful. It was good. Good. Work. That was pretty much early in your career, right? Yeah, I mean, first. First thing you ever did so was Once first Upon a Time. Ah. And um, the. Uh, the story, the treatment, what was the inspiration for it for you? Do you remember? Uh, okay, we, yes, I remember two, especially two or three pictures, um, like, um, like uh, Johnny Guitar. Johnny Guitar. Yeah, yes, and the um, Searchers. The Searchers? Yes. It's a classic. Yeah. Yes. Who was responsible for this picture? For the end of uh, the uh, image, to me is a classic image of the uh, brothers on, the one standing on his shoulders. Yes. With yes. the harmonica, right. is that your idea? Because I always look at that and say, yes. it's well, so Argento-esque. Some yeah. idea, yes, my. That's also, the beginning, the beginning, the fly. Yeah. It was I'm my. Was the, the idea of that fly being fly around his face then, all the time. And then, mm, this is a... Uh, Were you on the set when the film was shot? Was this all in the script? No, no. I write this. You write, you write yes, this. Because when we are, me and Bernardo, we write. Because Sergio only says, Oh, it's okay, it's not good, it's okay, mm -hmm. not good. <laughs> and uh, this part, the beginning, I, I write. This beginning is also something, uh, quotation, some reference to um, I know. Remember? I know. Yes. Mm -hmm. with the, the whole idea of waiting for a train. Waiting and the obsession of this train, don't arrive. Did you get to meet Henry Fonda? No, no. Oh, you, you, no, weren't no, you, no you weren't I never go to the set. You no, never. Because I... I starting to write in my picture. What do you think about director? There's a couple of names. David Cronenberg, you like his work? Yes, uh, very much. And he's very serious. Very serious worker. He's a um, good man. And Sam Raimi, do you like his Evil yes, Dead I films? And have you seen Dark Man yet? No. It's good? I yeah. loved it. Yeah? And I, yeah, uh, visually it's incredible. Oh, yes? Very I good editing. Let's see. Let's see.